DJI may have just triggered one of the most disruptive moments in drone history after what appears to be an accidental leak revealing a shockingly affordable 360-degree drone priced around $400, but before anyone rushes to celebrate, there's a rapidly approaching regulatory deadline that could completely reshape what drones are even allowed to exist in certain markets, making this entire discussion extremely time-sensitive for anyone planning to buy a drone in the next one to two months. Because buried beneath the hype of leaked screenshots and viral posts is a December FCC compliance cutoff that could force manufacturers to pull products, alter features, or delay launches altogether. And what makes this situation even more fascinating is that the majority of coverage so far has focused on surface-level specs without connecting how pricing, regional regulations, bundle strategies, and market positioning all collide at once. So here's what actually happened. A full product listing allegedly showing the DJI Avata 360 briefly appeared on a major Chinese social platform similar to a hybrid of Instagram and Reddit. Complete with images, pricing tiers, and configuration options, and although it was removed in under 20 minutes, the internet did what it always does, with enthusiasts capturing screenshots that reveal a base price of 2,988 Chinese yuan, translating to roughly $426 USD at current exchange rates, a figure that is genuinely staggering when you consider that most consumer-accessible 360-degree drones and panoramic aerial systems typically start well above $1,000, with professional-grade rigs easily climbing into the $3,000 to $5,000 range. Meaning this single leak suggests DJI could be preparing to obliterate existing price expectations overnight in a way comparable to an electric car suddenly launching at half the market average. And the pricing story doesn't stop there because the leaked page outlines multiple bundles, including an entry package paired with G's RC2 controller around the mid $500 range and two premium bundles priced near $800, one aimed at immersive FPV enthusiasts with goggles spare batteries, and a charging hub, and another focused on intuitive flight control using motion-based input that allows pilots to guide the drone naturally through physical movement rather than traditional sticks, lowering the barrier to cinematic flight even for beginners, while the rumored specifications add even more fuel to the conversation, with claims of a large 1-inch image sensor, 6K video recording at up to 60 frames per second, HDR processing for improved dynamic range, and omnidirectional obstacle avoidance using sensors on all sides to actively prevent crashes, a feature that alone dramatically reduces the risk factor for new pilots who fear turning their investment into shattered plastic after one mistake. Yet despite how compelling this sounds, it's critical to separate realistic expectations from pure speculation because earlier rumors suggested far more aggressive hardware such as dual sensors, potential 8K 360-degree capture, and next-generation image processing, which raises legitimate questions about whether DJI is planning multiple versions, scaling back from ambitious prototypes, or preparing different regional variants depending on local laws, tariffs, and consumer pricing tolerance, especially since Chinese launch prices rarely translate directly to Western retail once shipping, certification, import fees, and retailer margins are applied meaning a $426 domestic listing could realistically become a $600 to $900 product internationally, still competitive but not nearly as shocking, which is why anyone considering a drone purchase right now needs to look beyond leaks and think practically about alternatives that already exist and perform reliably today, because regardless of what DJI announces or delays, content creators, hobbyists, travelers, and professionals still need tools that match their actual use cases, and after extensive hands-on testing across multiple categories, there are standout options worth considering depending on budget and creative goals, starting with sub-minus $400 lightweight drones that stay under regulatory weight thresholds, offering 4K video, solid stabilization, intelligent subject tracking, and respectable flight times near 30 minutes, which makes them ideal for beginners casual YouTube creators, family filming, and social media content without dealing with excessive paperwork or steep learning curves. 
while stepping into more advanced territory opens the door to experimental 360-degree capture systems mounted on stabilized drones that allow creators to reframe shots entirely in post-production, effectively choosing camera angles after filming and even removing the drone itself from footage to create floating. Impossible perspectives that were unthinkable just a few years ago, a workflow that demands more skill but delivers visuals that stop viewers mid-scroll and elevate production value dramatically, especially for professional creators, commercial clients, travel films, and branded content. And this is ultimately why the leaked DJI Avata 360 matters so much even if every spec doesn't materialize exactly as shown, because it signals where aerial cinematography is heading. More immersive capture, more intelligent automation, more accessibility, and more creative freedom at lower price points, while the looming regulatory shifts mean hesitation could cost buyers access to certain models altogether, making now the moment to stay informed, evaluate real-world needs, avoid impulse decisions based on hype alone, and choose equipment that delivers consistent performance today while keeping an eye on what could be the next major evolution in consumer drone technology. Because the market is changing fast, inventories fluctuate weekly, rules are tightening, and the creators who win long-term are the ones who act strategically, fly responsibly, adapt early, and continue producing standout content regardless of which logo happens to be printed on the drone in the sky.